Hi, my name is Gala. I'm Looker Studio Expert and founder of Gailey Reports. Today, I would like to talk about some errors in data and how do I work with them. For example, I have some random data, I have transactions and I have users, and I want to have conversion rate from, transaction, from users to transaction. For that, I write a simple formula, transactions divided by users, and I will use percentage and will replicate this formula for all rows. And uh, we have two rows here with this error because users in this rows are zero and we cannot divide by zero. If we connect this table to Logger Studio, uh, this is a text, this is a percentage. So if even one row in the table has text, Looker Studio will understand this column as a text column and we will not we cannot use this table in Looker Studio in a normal way. So we have to avoid this. And uh, I use two options how to do it. First options if error formula. Uh, how does it look? Simple formula if error, you can see it here. And we have two parameters, value and value if error. Uh, for example, this will be, I will repeat my formula, transactions divide by users. Uh, value if error, for example, I would like to use this symbol. Um, it looks already nice, we don't have um, error but Luther Studio still will understand it as a text. So we should avoid any as a symbol but number. So we can change this. We can just simply remove it and let's see how it will what will we see. If we not use um, any value here, we just have empty empty cell. That's already okay for us. A local studio will understand this data and it's fine. Uh, but I recommend you to use zero in these cases. And we have zero conversion rate in when we have error. But be careful when you use if error function, when you, you can, you don't see if it is error or you don't have data or you have real zero here. So this is the one moment that you should put your attention. So before you start to use if error, check. Do you have errors? If not, maybe you can fix it. Um, but when you're sure that your formula works well, I recommend you to add this if error formula uh, above your working formula. And second option that I use, I use in a different Mm. Okay, if I use if formula, um, for example, I have two options here. Uh, if formula, it's simple formula, for sure you know about it. We have our logical expression. Mm. Logical expression here will be we know so it is impossible to divide by zero so our logical expression will be if users is zero then zero if it is not then transactions divide by users percentage result is the same so, two different options, but result is the same. Uh, I use both of them, depend on the, depend on the case. Mm, for example, uh, I use one more option I want to show you. For example, it will be nice to show here. I can use even both options. Let's do like this. If and if error. 
uh, what do I mean? For example, I know that I will add rows to my table, but I have no idea how many. So I want to write formula that will apply to all columns. But I don't like to see uh, when I don't have month here, when I have, don't have date in table, I don't to see formula uh, zeros here. So in this case, I use this formula. If a2 is empty, it means empty. And then if error transactions divided by users and if error is zero. Uh, and in this case, we have same result as in both previous columns, but when we don't have date in column, here we have nothing. And when, like, I use super metrics, power my logics, or as I don't, and I will have more rows here, we add something like we will have data here. Formula will, will work. So, this is my tips and tricks about uh, some errors, how to work with them. And this data already is ready for Looker Studio, and uh, we will not have troubles with errors. Ah, one more thing. Let's make it more complex. So this is actually how do I do it normally. I will copy this formula and I will add a right formula above <laughs> and I will change A2 for data, data, uh, date range A to A and here I will change from one cell to the whole column and I write this formula only once uh, and it applies. So here we don't have formulas. We have formula on the first column and it applies for the whole column. Uh, actually, this is my favorite way to do it and I prefer to use this option. Now I'm done. <laughs> Let me know if you have more questions about um, this topic or maybe you have other questions about Google Sheets or Looker Studio. I will try to answer in the next videos.